guys welcome back to another weekend vlog i missed last weekend but that's okay i'm back now so today is sunday and i'm actually at my friend's house haven't went up to his garage yet but i'm just sitting out here talking to you guys first so basically he hit me up earlier this morning and he wanted to take a run and then hit his pool but because i have a wedding at five o'clock today i was like mm, i don't think i can run go to the pool and hit the wedding without being exhausted so i told him i would just come hang out at the pool for a while and then leave around three o'clock right now it's about 11 30 and then um i'll head to the wedding from there well i'll go home and shower and then head to the wedding so i'm super excited it's a beautiful day it says that it's 83 degrees but it it feels more like 87 or 90 which is perfect because i love me some heat y'all love the heat love the humidity so um definitely excited to catch up with him and sit by the pool have some drinks hopefully the pool isn't too cold because i would like to swim actually and then from there i'm excited for my friend's wedding so she's technically married but because of covid she had to push back her wedding so it's like the second celebration but i literally love weddings and i was supposed to be in two this um year unfortunately the first one had some difficulties but um this one i'm super excited about i'm excited to celebrate her love i'm excited to dance party drink and just have a good time and i've met a few of her friends and they're really cool so i'm excited to see them again so yeah and who doesn't like getting dressed up you know for a nice wedding so i am looking forward to it and then to be off tomorrow because i believe it's memorial day um it's lit like what party all night <laughs> but anyway guys i have my little sippery in the back in my cute little cup and i bought some lunch stuff because i haven't eaten breakfast and i'm not trying to spend any extra money on food so yeah i'll just be nibbling sipping and swimming see you guys at the pool All right, guys, we're at the pooly pool, but we're locked out. <laughs> he went in the rental office to see what's up, shawty. And I'm just waiting here. Got my mango wine. Ooh -wee. Hey, Penny Jr. What up? And my friend Janae always says, wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen. So today I actually got some sunscreen. It's the Trader Joe's brand, of course. And um, I don't wear sunscreen. I haven't worn sunscreen pretty much my whole entire adult life, my teenage years. I just wear like coconut oil or shea butter, right? But Janae's like, no, wear sunscreen. The sun's bad for you, which of course we know it is. It causes wrinkle, it can cause cancer, it can cause other skin issues, but I don't wear it. And now I'm afraid to wear it because I haven't been wearing it. All right. Yeah, now I don't wear it and I'm afraid to wear it because I haven't been wearing it most of my life. So I'm like, should I start wearing this or should I keep doing what I'm doing? Hmm. I mean, this one seems like it's pretty good because it's Trader Joe's, of course, they're the best. And it says that it has UVA, UVB protection. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. It's enriched with vitamin C and E. It's a lightweight formula, which I really like because I hate sticky, nasty stuff like that. It has oxybenzone and octanoxate. It's free of that, actually. I'm sorry, it doesn't have that. And then it has non com comedogenic. Um, it's fragrance free and it has, it's paraben free and it's oil free. So this one sounds pretty decent. It only has four active ingredients. So I'm thinking if anything, this would be a good brand, but I'm just afraid. 
what do you guys think? Do you wear sunscreen? Let me know. Hey y'all, we made it inside, yes. My good side. Wave. Get the angle. A petty just washing off the um inflatables because he's had them inside since last summer. So he's trying to get some of the dirt and stuff off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can party. And here, uh, here is the lifeguard that had us waiting for six hundred years. Look at him. Just look at him. Yep. He didn't care about us at all. Um, you know how like it takes a while for the water to warm up, like throughout the summer, mm -hmm. it gets warmer. So this is the first swim, so it's like cold. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I need to come back out. Ooh, I'm scared. Just gotta get in. <laughs> I'm trying to see like my feet. Like, okay, are they gonna warm up? Just get in, man. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Get that ass in, get that ass in. It's literally cold as heavy. Well, get in, player. Okay, okay, okay. Goodbye, guys. Ooh! Okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> Told you it's that. <laughs> Boring without music. The music with what? I said boring without music. Boring, very, very, very boring. <laughs> so I got my phone. <laughs> they should have a hot tub out here too. Hot tub? That would be nice. Yeah, for the wintertime. Or a heated pool all year round. Must be painted, mom. <laughs> <laughs> 
But no, imagine having like a little date night here and you had a hot tub. Oh, and you guys should have a fire pool. You think they, see the thing is here, they so green. They oh yeah. Like fire. Oh yeah, you did say that. But really? Well, in the, the uh, in the clubhouse. Yeah, but it's. I myself over there. And then, got this wedding, so I'll get some footage there. Pulling up, play, I'm pulling up. Pull up! Pull up on you. Pull up! Pull up on you. Look at my paddle situation. What to do, YouTube people? It's the boy of Petty Jr. I won't have people really thinking you're Jr. <laughs> Hey friends, so I'm back. As you can see, I got a nice little tan from the pool, but I have changed the look. Ponytail is pulled back now. Put on some uh -huh, mascara, and I have on my black dress with my silver accessories, little silver and black purse, and I'm ready to go inside and see the bride. So it's my friend Leandra's wedding, as I mentioned earlier. It starts at five right now. It's currently about 440. So I'm gonna go ahead and head in, find my seat. Gonna have some water first, cause I'm a little dehydrated. And y'all know I gotta last all night. I gotta be on that dance floor turning it. So I gotta make sure I'm good. But anyway, so far so good. The day's been amazing. The weather's been amazing. And I can't wait to celebrate my friend and turn up the dance floor. Okay? I see y'all soon.
and love. And he says the greatest of these three is love. Now, saints, today, The gentleman is very respectful, loving, and has a big heart, and he's very loyal. So from 2008 to 2010, our friend had became a best friend. Fast forward to today, our best friend became a brother. And that's what life. I learned a lot from Jerron, you know. He showed me a lot. I took a lot of inspiration from him. And one thing that's inspirational that I took from him pretty much just his willpower. You know, Jerome will fight to get whatever he want out of life. And speaking of fighting, 2008, you met the young Keisha. <laughs> Keisha gave my boy, I'm sorry if I can say this, hell. <laughs> she was not interested in him. <laughs> I just remember him coming, telling me the guys about her, you know, a few of the friends that we no longer friends with, we outgrown. And um, he just tells us about her. So he was like, he liked her a lot. He's very interested in her, but she don't like him. <laughs> so you had have telling them, telling him, you know, forget about her. You're not gonna get her. You're not gonna win her over. Just move on. Me and a few of the other guys, we pretty much told him, if you like her a lot, pursue her. Keep chasing. Her. You might get her. But at the end of the day, we all our own people. So. We, you know, move our own action, choices, and decisions. We have to live with that. 